What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create cinematics only with code. So instead of using the traditional level sequence and keyframing to make the camera animations and so on, we're going to be using blueprints. It might be a better approach for some of you in some cases, so it's going to be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is right click and create a new blueprint class and this will just be an actor. So we'll place all the camera and code in here. Let's name this BP underscore camera sequence something like that and let's go ahead and open this blueprint up okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and add a new component and this will be a camera if you want you can go a bit more advanced and already add the cinema uh, camera but in my case use the normal camera will do and basically we are going to be moving this camera basically through some nodes instead of just keyframing it okay so we'll say it will go from this point to this one in the world okay so on the level we'll place like a point here and it will go there great so let's go and create a new variable which will be the destination so this will be the destination and it will be just a location okay let's go uh sorry a vector so this will basically be public and then also very important we want to click show 3d widget this will make sure that we can go ahead and move the 3d widget around so now if i get my camera sequence into the level i have my camera here so it will start right up there and you see this gizmo right this is the position okay so if i select this kind of circle i can move this around and i can say and the camera will finish right over here a bit up so it will go from that this location into here great so now let's go into the van graph and all these stuff that we need so to be able to go from one point to another we have to create something called the timeline so the timeline will be just the uh, movement it's called the timeline movement it will just go ahead and display let's double click and we have to add a new float track and this will give us the output so in this case this will be the alpha for the location so alpha location the length you can specify how long this animation will be in this case, I'm going to leave it at just 3 seconds. And now we can just right click, add a keyframe. And the first one will be when the time is 0 and value is 0. And then we can add another key. And the time will be at 3 seconds when the animation will finish. And the value at 1 because it will go from 0 to 1. And right now, it will just be a linear interpolation. But of course, you can go and create curves and so on to get what you want. So this will give us an output. So now what I can do is go and just get the camera and you set the local, sorry, the world. And, and then you can specify a lot of things. In this case, it will be just the location. And this will be in the update. Great. So now what I can do is lerp. And now there's a lot of things and I can use lerp a vector. So as you can see, it will go from this point A and to point B with this alpha slowly so let's plug this here so point b will be where our destination point is in our world and then point a okay uh will basically be where uh the camera right now is so it will just be get world location okay so right now where it is started uh which i guess it will still be zero 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 but just in case of split now if we now press play you'll see uh, that we need to possess this camera so we can just go and you say uh, auto receive input player zero and then I can just go and get rid of the game mode so I will possess my camera well, okay that's <laughs> still it is spawning uh, so you select the camera sequence get this disabled and I just need the camera to have uh, the auto activate on and then I'm going to use auto possess it. So in this case, this is an actor. So we have to just change it in class default. Uh, sorry, settings to be a pawn because uh, a pawn can be possessed and an actor not. So now there we go. Uh, we have the 
I would possess player, player is zero. So now I am possessing this camera and you can see that it moved. But it moved incorrectly. This is because this destination is in local space and that needs to change to world space. So what I can use is this node, which is the inverse transform uh, location. And I can just put this here and the transform will be the get actor transform. So the camera destination was in local space. So in this blueprint, but when in the world. So now this will do the trick and you get, well, it didn't do the trick. Uh, but so you just have in mind that I have to uh, go and make sure that this is actually not inverse. Uh, yeah, it's actually the other way around, sorry. So it will be transform location. There we go. Sorry about that. So it's not inverse, it's the other one. Great. So now we can just plug this, press play. And you can see that now it will go exactly to the destination. And it went way quick. So I can just increase the time to maybe, you know, seven seconds. And then remember to always put the second point to be a time at seven. And of course, right now it will be just very plain. Just I zoom forward. But of course, you know, we can also put more, more time in 12 seconds. Uh, we can also go ahead and just make, you know, kind of curves and so on. Uh, I don't want to really want to mess with this, but you can just kind of make this like a more of a curve and so on. But, you know, you, you get the idea. I'm not really going to mess with this stuff. <laughs> okay, so we can make it that will go quicker, then slower with some ramps, as you can see. So, you know. <laughs> you get the point, okay? I'm not gonna go real crazy, but you know, it will do this stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it. If you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. Remember that the product files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members, so check them out. During my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.